another couple of topics that you need to know the difference between are independent and dependent. Last year, I had several students that mixed these up, so uh, I'm posting this video to try to help you understand the differences so you don't have that problem as we go along this year. When you say one quantity is dependent on the other quantity, what that means is you have to know this value. to be able to determine this value. The dependent depends on the independent. The independent is always what you have to know first. The dependent is always what you figure out later. Okay, so let's think about an example. What is dependent and what is independent in this state? To be able to answer that question, you've got to come up here and think, what do you have to know first? Or what happens first? And then what happens later? Do the weeds grow first? Or does it rain first? Okay, so for this example, we can say when it rains, the rain is the independent. Then what happens later? growing depends on whether or not it rains first. Okay. If we have a statement depends on what for this situation. We have two things happening here. The breeze is, disease is spread when people don't wash, which is independent and which is dependent. For me, the easiest way to think about this is what happens first is independent. What happens later is dependent. So what happens first? People don't wash their hands. Then what
what happens? The disease spreads. Okay. So it helps me to think about the green part here. What has to happen first, and then figure out what happens later. Some textbooks call the independent variable the input, and the dependent variable is the output, because nothing comes out until something went in first. If you have an equation that looks like y equals 3x plus 2, which letter, which variable is dependent and which letter or variable is independent? What do you have to know first in order to be able to figure out the other thing? In order to figure out y, what do we have to know? We've got to know what x is first. So x is independent, and y is what we figure out after we know what x is. Another way this is sometimes stated is we have what's called a cause. to happen. This has to happen first. So the cause is the independent variable, and the effect is the dependent variable. The effect depends on the cause. Now there are some situations where you do not have an independent and dependent relationship. Uh, suppose you think about the height or length of an animal and the wingspan or the arm reach the height or the length and the wingspan or the arm reach If you think about just people, if you have pre-K and kindergarten kids, they're all pretty short, right? And they all have pretty short arms. But when you get to high school, you've got kids that are taller and they have longer arms. So you might think there's a cause and effect here, or an independent, a dependent relationship, but it's not always true. Some people are short and have really long arms. Some people are tall and have really short arms. Um, let's think about some animals, for example. Um, if you think about a, um, a little monkey, it has really long arms, so it can reach out and grab fruit off of tree branches. So does being short mean you always have short arms? Not necessarily. Um, think about a crocodile. They're really long. Some of those things are seven, eight, nine, ten feet long, but they have really short arms. Why? They spend most of the time in the water. They just need to be able to paddle around a little bit. They don't reach out and grab things with their arms. They reach out and grab things with their jaws. So for this case, for height and arm reach, or length and wingspan. There is no independent-dependent relationship here. You can compare these things and draw a graph to form a relation, but it doesn't matter which one you put on the x-axis and which one you put on the y-axis. There is no cause and then effect. There is no independent and dependent. You don't have to do one of these first and figure out the other later. You can measure in whatever order you want. If one thing depends on another, 
the independent is always what you have to do first in order to figure out the dependent layer. But not all relations have a dependent relationship. If we are trying to figure out independent and dependent, the independent value is your input, the dependent value is your output. The independent is what you have to know first, the dependent is what you figure out later. Hopefully, you can use those hints to help you with your homework assignment later on.